Harry from Heidelberg sent me a lovely email saying, Richo, what's a great pasta dish that I can do really quickly? Well, Harry, this is a great pasta dish. What I've got is some pancetta. And this pancetta has been diced up. It's sort of like prosciutto or bacon. And when it's diced like this, it goes through the pasta beautifully. What you need to do, Harry, is pop it into your pan. A nice hot pan like this and get it sizzling. When you sizzle it like this, it starts to get nice and crispy and gives off a really, really nice flavour. Another great tip is you could also crisp up the pancetta in an oven and sprinkle it over the top of eggs in the morning or into an omelette. It's a great thing to use. I'll even put it in a salad sometimes. Now in the pan here is nice and hot. I'll drizzle some extra virgin olive oil around and you really start to hear it sizzle now. Now to the pan there, I'll give it a bit of a toss. You can see it's starting to crisp up a little bit and it smells fantastic. I'm also gonna add some chopped red onion and some garlic and get that cooking up beautifully. A little bit of pepper goes in there and you can add some salt as well. But one of the things to consider with pancetta is it's got a bit of salt in it already. So before you go adding any salt to it, make sure you give it a bit of a taste. Now to give it even more flavour, I've got some anchovy. I'm gonna put a couple of these in here. Now the anchovy will give it great flavour and as it starts to cook, it'll disintegrate into the dish. You won't even know it's there. I'm also gonna put some Kalamata olives that have been seeded in there as well. Make sure you take the pips out of them and some capers. There we go, about a tablespoon of them. All I need to do is toss that around there like that and this will be ready in no time. Now into my pot goes a nice amount of salt and my fettuccine. This is fresh fettuccine and it'll cook in minutes. By the time this has come together, I'll have some parsley chopped, the fettuccine will go into the pan, stir it around a little bit, a little bit more salt and this will be a cracking dish. Now all I need to do, Harry, is put a little bit of butter in there just to finish it off and give it a lovely bit of flavour. Tiny bit, you can see it bubbling away there and the flavour is going all the way through it. I like to throw some chopped parsley, continental parsley, straight on top of it and then all I need to do is grab my pasta with my tongs and pop it straight into the pan. Look at the, look at the steam coming off that. It all comes together beautifully. A little bit more like that, make sure you get all the pasta out of there. And a little bit of water is great in there as well. That'll help to make a, a bit of sauce. But most of it out there like that. Now I've already had a taste of it, and I know it needs a little bit of salt and some pepper. About a teaspoon of salt, there we go. And a nice good twist of black pepper. All I need to do now is give that a bit of a toss around to make sure the pancetta, the olives, the anchovies, and the capers and the herbs go all the way through there. And then onto my bowl. Look at that. It smells fantastic and it looks great. And the pancetta gives it that beautiful, sweet, salty flavour that goes so well with all these ingredients. There we go. Onto the bowl, it goes like that. Now all I need to do is turn off my gas, add a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top. I'll grab my fork and put it into the middle here. Twist it around to grab some of that fettuccine. I've got some pancetta on there as well. Smells fantastic. There you go, Harry. Really fast, quick dish that tastes delicious.